Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right into episode 5 of Leveling Yamuna to level 999. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> that was just about to ask what that was. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, ain't she still hanging out with a kind of? I was on the phone. That's so cute. Ah! Oh, and it's Ah! Lucky! Lucky! Tell me! Birthday! Yes! They ain't hanging out on my birthday, though. Sad tear. <laughs> Right, right. But you know, like I said, most guys end up playing female characters. And, and that's okay. I mean, you know, actually, you know, I think all y'all probably would freak out over that. That's the old reason why. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> That's code for I'm leaving. Oh no, we're actually going to the restroom. We ain't ditching him. Okay, we nice. Like, okay, I mean, yeah, I get it. She was still going to study, 
with Yamina, but I thought they would have, like, changed the schedule. Like, mean. I think now after this, I'm still looking at her some type of way where it's like, oh, she's sweet, but I'm at the same time, I want to beat the crap out of her. Weren't you supposed to hang out with Akane? He followed her into the freaking bathroom! Ain't this a female restroom? Read the room! Oh god, he's trying to open the door! Oh my god, you're crossing the line! You're being too creepy! I would cry. Did? Complicated. I mean, I get it. You you have a crush on them. You want them all to yourself, but boundaries, babe. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. All that just for him to drive you? You better apologize to her, I swear to God. You need to apologize to her. This child, this girl, oh! this girl exactly and you treat her like this she was super happy to be with you and hang out with you and you fuck her over Scared, worried, all of the above. <laughs> mm -hmm. Of course, doll. Please, do not do that again. It's super awkward. Oh, my cute little airhead. Oh, my baby. I love her so much, but I wish she would just be like, oh, this is what happened. Of 
question feel bad. Go on, apologize. Exactly. You're on your own. Mm hmm Oh, my God. <laughs> it's both my stomach and my leg. Oh, my God. You stay. Yeah, you three go. Sit down. Yeah, once again, you still feel bad. Well, no, you can kind of still play together, but, I mean, <laughs> uh, Mm -hmm. yeah, and you don't want anybody to get super close. I get that, but still. There's nothing wrong with letting another girl in the picture. Even if you are prying for Yamada. I mean, like, damn, I get that. 
Besides, you owe her. You ditched her. I don't like seeing kids cry. It makes me want to cry. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, all better. That's a look of he's in love with her, and that's it. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's too much. Okay. I I get it. Runa was being very hella jealous. I mean, I get it. I've met some girls where it's like, I, okay. So I'm a guy's girl and I am a girl's girl. I can hang out with a guy's, uh, a girlfriend's boyfriend and not have any feelings with him and such. I've hung out with friend, guy friends where like people, I'm like, we are just friends and we're going to be nothing but friends. But I've had people come up to me and think that I have a crush on them or that other person, the girl has a crush on him and that I'm overstepping my boundaries. Bitch, I can't be friends with him because that's what that shit felt like to me. Like, I mean, I get it. I, I completely get it because I, I haven't been on that side of the turf where it's like I have a crush on someone and someone I feel like someone is overstepping their boundaries. On the guy that I have a crush on. Because I'm like, it's fine. Like, a guy and a girl could be friends without anything, you know, platonically happening and such. You know, we ain't gonna talk about that one couple right now when, you know, the world of celebrities and movie fielding and such. But if you know, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Um, I love the fact that she apologized. I, I think even now, it, I, I still like her, but it's going to just, once again... Take me a little while to ruin up to ruin up because ooh, you oh, never me on a date. Yeah. This takes time. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Please, bye bye. <laughs> uh, I mean, and I get it. Yes, most girls, because Uri is one. She, she's just once again the the boundaries of. Oh, hey, I have a crush on character here. Or, oh, hey, it's always been the four of us here. Why are you coming in and stepping on our territory? I get it. I know. You want, you you kind of don't want certain friends to mix with certain friends because you know situations and just like that. But did I think initially that Akane was going to lash out on Rudy? A little bit of yes and a little bit of no because once again, like, okay, let's think about it like this. Baby is still a child. I, I think it would be a little awkward-esque if she did something like okay all right i cannot believe i'm about to talk about this okay speaking of experience i did not really lash out on this girl i just i think what my mom has told me and the way how i speak towards certain people and such um i think in that moment possibly in 
the girl's POV, aka a former subscriber of mine, who I think is still sub to me, I don't really know, um, because I have not talked to her in like a hot minute. Uh, a situation happened on when I was streaming on Twitch, and because of that, something else happened, and I got upset because of certain things, and I talked to her about it, and you know, I'm a, I'm a person who are like, if I am upset with you, yeah, I might be like talking to you in like an upset voice, but I'm still going to try to contain myself because once again, the person who I was talking to was a child and I have to treat her like a child instead of an adult or a teenager and such. Um, but at the same time, you know how when some people don't treat each other with respect and you get pissed about that, that's what she was doing to me. Now, did I lash at her? No, because I stood my ground and I was like, hey, I know this. But it, I would still say till this day of that situation between me and that person, how it escalated, um, looking at it now, was it very disrespectful on the thing that she did? Yes. Also with her not treating me with respect, was that also disrespectful? Yes. And, you know, I think from that, I think she also learned a lesson. I also learned a lesson that day too, where it's like, I don't always need to like, um, be upset on certain things, but like da da da, whatever and such. So after I was done and I topped it over with um, another sub plus a friend, and then of course my parents and such, because uh, whenever because I'm like a um, person who was like I kind of need almost everyone's opinion. Um, we were able to work it out. She came on my stream. She apologized. I also apologized to her and such and we just moved on and such and so thinking was seeing that situation made me initially like think of that I was like damn I haven't gone through that and such but that's not <laughs> but that it, it's very similar because like I said she could have Akane really could have lashed out and being like oh my god you freaking ditched me you basically I understand you don't like me and you decided to have this random guy who likes Rudy Hime and to kind of meet me and stuff because what if something would have happened? What if it had gotten worse? All that blame would have been on Runa. Now, of course, I love the part where literally she is like, what, once her brother came in and was like, okay, we're going to go somewhere. You're going to have a lecture real quick. She instantly turns to Yamada and Yamada's like, I'm not saving you. He can't save you. Not for this because you know you're in trouble. And you know you messed up. So, you you know, you have to deal with the consequences. And this is something for everyone, not just children or teenagers. This is also adults. When we get trouble, we got to deal with the freaking consequences of everything. And be responsible for the actions of what we did. That's just the best thing. That is that is the way of life, regardless. And so I think she did, you know, val really learned a very valuable lesson today. Like I said, it's going to take me some time to fully be like, yeah, I like this girl right here. Just right now, I mean, you know, I am in, in the middle of where I love her slash I dislike her. I will not say hate. So we are, we are in Switzerland with her right now. So probably give it a couple of weeks and maybe, just maybe in some way, shape, or form, I'll probably start liking her. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode 5 of Leveling Yamada Kun to level 999. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 6. Bye, guys.